Hey guys, it's M Beans, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back. We are on my new island called Straw Bee, which will be a strawberry shortcake themed island. I accidentally started in the fall season, and I think it is so ugly, but here we are, and it's raining. I really love the beginning of the game where Tom Nook is making all of the announcements in the plaza. It's just so cute and sweet. I wish Isabel did this or Tom, you know, it's fine. Either one. But of course they take away anything that's cute in the game. Whatever. So in today's video, I'm just going to be doing some of the beginning tasks around on my island. Here I am coming out of my little tent looking like a little noob with all of the villager tents here. I also wish they stayed in the tents because they're so cute. But honestly, I'm hating these fall vibes. Even though it is fall in real life, we need some cherry blossoms. So here we are. I time traveled to 2024 and this looks so much better. All right, so I need to get some Nook Miles. So one of the easiest ways to get a bunch of Nook Miles is equipping all of the golden tools and you'll get a ton of Nook Miles for that. Also, here are a bunch of mods that I just downloaded that are pink and candy and cake themed. So this is kind of a sneak peek for what my island is gonna look like. I'm super excited. I don't know exactly what theme I'm gonna go with. It might not be a like a one specific theme we'll see as we go but here are lots of mods we have these crepe builds here crepe trucks there's a rocket ship up there which is pretty cool and these ice cream cone like wafer windmills we have um this it looks like my little pony lots of stuff so in this video today we are going to place my museum i also really love the baby museum i never want to upgrade it sometimes i do it just depends on the vibe i'm going for so once you place a baby museum you cannot move it unless you upgrade it so if you plan to keep it a baby museum you better plan out where you want it to be for the entire duration that you have this island or you can have mods and move it of course all right so here i am now i decided my villager homes they upgraded and we need to decorate my tent because i love doing these tent builds I really don't like decorating interiors, but for some reason, I really enjoy doing the tent. So I wanted to decorate my tent before I have to upgrade it. I wish I didn't have to upgrade it, but you're kind of stuck in the progression of the game unless you upgrade your house. Like you can't get Nook Miles, you can't get Able Sisters. I'm really trying to get those custom designs because I feel like my face looks naked. So I basically made like a tiny little strawberry shortcake house. Of course, a lot of these items are mods, but some of them are not. If you're wondering how I get some of these mods or where to download them, in the description of all of my videos, I do have a link to a spreadsheet that has all of the mods, every item that they replace, and where to download. Look how cute my little tent turned out. I love the cupcake ferris wheel and I found this little bunny mod where you can hold it like a doll. Super cute. But strawberry shortcakes house is not complete without some strawberries and some cake. Alright, now we are on the next day. I really enjoy when Tommy is walking around. 
the island. And here we are with Tom Nook's announcements again. I'm savoring this moment with Tommy here because I don't want him to leave, but I do need to build Nook's Cranny so that I can move on with the game and get my character some eyebrows. Guys, I feel like we look so naked without eyebrows. And I made this cute custom design for my face on my last island's rep. I should have just waited because then I could be using it right now if I make it again, but I don't really want to make it again. So let's go place Nook's Cranny. First, we have to go talk to Timmy in the tent. And he's going to ask me for a bunch of stuff. I already went ahead and gave it to him. You guys don't need all of this boring extra stuff. A lot of people, when they restart, they flatten their island. And that is so much work for me. I'd rather restart, which I do have mods, so it makes it a lot easier. But restarting is so fun for me. Also, I have a mod on that makes some of the bugs that fly around pink so that's why you just saw a pink butterfly i also have a mod on to recolor nooks and my bandana is also a mod to have that um pattern on it oh there's that pink butterfly again so also i really love that we get to hold little ceremonies so we're gonna do that look how cute if you missed my last video my starter villagers are Fuchsia and Genji. Look how cute we are. So this island is going to be in the cherry blossom season. And it just so happened that I got apple trees and I love the way it looks side by side with the cherry blossom trees because strawberry shortcake is all about those pink and red and green vibes. Like look how naked my face looks. It's just, it looks silly. But these early days are so fun with all of these celebrations and ceremonies. I wish every time we remodeled a villager's house that we could do a ceremony. That would be cute. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below what you're excited to see about this island and which villagers you'd like to see me have. Hello Kitty will definitely be on this island. In my next video, we are going to place my first three plots, so stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day, and I will see you in the next one.